Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to hopefully, if all goes to plan, which I know it will, the last day of painting our Subaru STI. We got the booth aired up this morning, got it all cleaned out. I'm gonna keep the floor wet. It seemed to help keep dust and dirt down from landing in our paint yesterday. And then we pulled the car in the booth. We need to go ahead and get this thing completely masked off. I know it's gonna be loud in here. Uh, I apologize for that audio. It's kind of annoying with those fans running, but it is what it is. The whole front end is gonna be masked off. I'll probably spray two right about here. Anything beyond that, we can do at a later date when we spray the bay. And then of course we gotta go ahead and back mask everything here, mask off the wheels. It's gonna be a fair amount of masking, but we have a fairly early start, so let's get to it. Couple hours later, we have the whole entire car masked off. That took way too long. That took about two and a half hours. I'm really, really slow, like I said yesterday, at masking. I'm sure there's faster ways to do it, but it is what it is. Got the car cleaned up twice with wax and grease remover. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up our sealer, and in about 30 minutes-ish, 45 minutes, we're gonna give it some time for that wax and grease to evaporate all the way, because if it doesn't, it'll cause fish eyes. So probably 45 minutes, we can go in there, spray out, spray out the sealer, and get this freaking party started. I'm stressed out. Ain't gonna lie, anxiety, not gonna lie. But we'll get her done. Because this has a 15 minute induction time, meaning after you mix it, you have to wait 15 minutes to spray it. I'm mixing a little bit extra. There's no way I wanna run out halfway or 90% of the way, because that'd be bad. We'd have like a dry spray area. So I mix up quite a bit, honestly, probably 25% more than I think I might need, just in case. I'd rather have a little bit over than a little bit under. All right, let's go ahead, hop in the booth and get this thing sprayed out. We're gonna tack it off with this here tack cloth. And then before I sprayed it, right before I sprayed it as well, I kind of try to blow it off with the spray gun just to blow off any sort of dirt or dust that may have landed in between the tack cloth and spraying. So one coat of sealer, let's do it.
first thing is done, sealer's all laid down. It's been drying for like 45 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and mix up the base coat. Three coats of base, probably about five minutes in between each coat, five to 10, um, pretty much just until it flashes off. And then you can put the next coat on. And then clear. Clear is always the most nervous part for me because if you lay it on too thin, it's dry and shitty looking. Too wet, you get runs. I'd much rather deal with runs versus dry spray, but obviously you don't want either. Okay, base laid down fine. I just went in there with the light. The only light I have is just a regular old LED DeWalt light. Just to make sure we didn't have any thin areas, we're all good to go. It's been about 30 minutes. I need to get in there and start laying down some clear. So one lighter coat, one heavier coat, and we should be good. That first coat laid down perfect. Like I said, I went a little bit lighter. That's the method I found that I like better, a little bit lighter and then second coat heavier, quite a bit heavier. And if you do a third coat, same concept, a little bit heavier as well. Um, I'm gonna wait a while. I'm gonna wait like 30 minutes. I'm gonna go get coffee just so I'm not here at the shop waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and being tempted to jump in there early and lay down more clear. I have to leave. That's where I'm at right now. I gotta leave so I don't go paint more. This is fun. All right, I'll see you guys when we do a second coat. Oh, we are finally done, unless we mess something up, painting the STI hatch. Ah, holy shit, that was a lot of work. What did we start, three weeks ago? Two and a, two, two and a half weeks ago? I'm worn out, painting's a lot of work. Let's go ahead in the booth. That paint's still wet, so I'm gonna be careful, but it's not cloudy in there or foggy in there anymore. 
when I was looking at it, I saw some runs on the roof, which is hard to do unless you're new. It's gonna be loud. I apologize. The fans are really loud. It turned out so freaking good. I'm like emotional with how freaking nice this thing looks. I hosed that clear on so hard on the roof and you can see it right there. I don't know if it'll show on camera. Oh yeah, right there. You see that little run? And honestly, the roof is not perfect. That thing had hail damage. I did the best job that I knew how to do. And it's not perfect by any means, but it's really, really close. There's still some tiny things here and there. And I, oh, another run. You see that one? Oof, that's a big one. I don't think I'll be able to get them PDR'd out either just because they could potentially be just low spots in the filler that I did. And PDR would crack the filler and then we'd be effed. So honestly, they're so tiny. I, like I said, I don't really care. The rest of it though, Perfect. I don't. I don't know how I was able to to land this paint job. Holy poop! Probably going to be some more runs in it here and there as it kind of sits and settles, which I don't mind honestly. Like I said earlier, I would much rather have runs over dry spray. Much, much. I've dealt with dry spray before. Such a pain. But just walking around it real quick, I don't really see any other runs at all. Actually. There's one in the jam. This is our car. This is nuts. I'm so freaking excited. It's pretty warm today. It's probably like 75, 70, 75 in the booth right now. I like how I keep saying the booth, like it's some high tech thing. It ain't high tech. It's 61 degrees outside. So yeah, it's at least 70 in the booth. That paint should probably be tack free within about two hours. So I'm gonna go to the gym like I always do as I freaking sit here and wait. And then hopefully when we come back, it's tack free enough. I don't, I don't want to pull that thing out early whatsoever because it's just not worth getting it dirty. I am so excited to put this thing back together now. The wide body kit with the freaking hidden hardware that you can't see, all oh, that turned out so nice. Of course, the bumpers, that rear, that was a pain in the ass. The front, all the other wide body panels, the skirts, the doors that are leaning on the Evo, the fenders that are sitting on top of the Evo. Full resprays are no joke, guys. Especially if it's your first time, like, it is for me and a wide body car. <sighs> I don't know if I'll ever do it again. I'm sure I will, but it's gonna be a while. All right, I'll stop talking. All right, my friends, it is nine, four hours and nine minutes after we sprayed down the last coat of clear coat. So we're gonna go ahead and crank the heat up in the shop and pull the STI in here and we can check it out. You excited, Bob? We got Bobby here. And Bobby's the official judge of the paint job. She's the judge. I do have to unmask it though, so I can drive her. Do I have to follow you?
piece of dirt fell on my paint. Hey, baby, hold the camera. I need my Son water. of a bitch, this thing looks freaking titties. We just got the car in the shop, boys, and I must say I'm fairly pleased with my work. Huh. I would say there is, let's count them out. One run, two run. Paint is flatter than a baby's bum. Two runs in the roof somehow, even though it's flat, we still got runs in her. And then a fairly decent sized run right there. 30-ish <sighs> minutes with some sandpaper on a stick or a block, she'll be mint. I wanna put a wide body panel on for fun. Should we put a wide body panel on? And check out the seamless look with the hidden hardware? Sure. Real quick, the paint is still, it's, it's yeah, it'll be all right. It's not sticky or anything, obviously. It's been a couple hours. Ooh. I really wanna unmask it. But first, let's put a wide body panel on her. Hold this. What do you think? You're the daughter I of- I haven't even looked at it. You're the daughter of a professional painter. You've seen thousands of paint jobs in your life. Thousands. It's really, really good, babe. What? I'm highly impressed. Really? You didn't think I could to nail it? You didn't think I could nail it? <laughs> I did. I Look at that. You Even underneath the gaslight and everything, my guy. Well, yeah. It's really good, honey. I'm so proud of you. Do you think your dad would appreciate it? He'd be like, damn, son, this really sucks. This no, he would be very, very impressed. Nice. I'm actually like, it's fairly clean too. Not a ton of dirt in it. There's a bug right there. Bug right there. There's like a dent right here in the roof that you're talking about. No, that's a run. That is literally a run oh. in the roof, which you know how hard it is to get a run in a flat panel. That's a lot of material that we laid on there, son. But the, <laughs> the more material you lay on there, son. Baby, I'm not your son. The more, the more flat it is. <laughs> okay. I'm not your son. I mean, I look crazy. I don't want to be in the video right now. Another run. Ooh, that one's still wet. Are you sure you want to put a panel on even though it's not like cured or dry all the way? I just want to like set it up on there. I don't know if like the color is going to match, you know? What? <sighs> this is going to be my sickest car to date. Straight fuego. Can you tell that I uh, used to have a big hole right there? And there and there? Mm -hmm. Look, you can not You can tell? Mm -hmm. Bullshit! I'm kidding. You can't tell because I did good work. You did, baby, and you already showed me your work a long time ago. Oh. I already told you it was good. Almost ready. Can we assemble tonight, the whole thing? No. I will literally stay here till the wee hours. Nope. Wee wee hours. Do you have beer? No. Do you remember my dream? Mm -mm. I told you there the other day, as soon as I'm done painting this thing, I'm gonna sit in the driver's seat and drink a beer. Yes, I do remember that. Shit, we gotta go to the store and get beer. Eh. Kind of sketch on new paint. Very sketch. I'm not gonna put it on on the way, but sheesh! <laughs> <laughs> that actually looks so good. What do you mean actually? <laughs> Damn. This car is- That's just one panel. Imagine when it's done. Mind blown. Imagine with the, the new wheels on it that I have sitting in the box over you there. You need to hair. lower your eyebrows. I should, <laughs> should I do a black roof too? What color should I spray the bay? Definitely a black roof. I was thinking about painting it black, but then I realized that what happens when I want a white one day? Yeah. Okay. I so I'm, gonna, well, I'm not gonna paint it black now, my guy. Yeah. I'm gonna wrap it now, my guy. What color should we spray the bay though, Mike? It'd be kind of cool black, not gonna lie. The bay? Yeah. It like is. all black. Oh, it's already black? Like a glossy black. Like a it really. It is glossy black. Come check her out. Uh, all I see is crust. <sighs> see, that's the thing with this bay. It's like, you know, it's not very appealing. It's not like an Evo. Honey, bay. I didn't know we were making a show car. You don't even have to touch the engine bay. I know, but I want to. Okay. See, so like the black, like that. Well, yeah, but that's that's nice. Okay. Are you not wanting to make the engine nice? I don't know. Okay, no, then. I no, I do. I do. I do. I do. Then either black. I, or Bobby, black. I just don't know if I want to do wire tuck shit and like all this gay, gayness. 
Honey, you asked? Sheesh! I'm sorry, I'm just... You I... asked for my opinion. Either red or black. Comment oh. below. Okay. White? A white bear? Well, no shit. I don't know, man. I kind of just want to do a poppy. Maybe purple. I'm going to do a purple bear. I'm curious to see if I got paint on the inside. I'm like kind of emotional right now. You know when you, you like... You can show this to When you work really, really hard at something and you fail multiple times and you finally succeed. Mm -hmm. Like that was me like trying to date you, you know? Aww. I, I failed multiple times and I finally succeeded. Is that really what happened? No, but that's what happened with my car. And the sad, the stupid thing about this car, Bobby, is I didn't even want it. Why is it that probably gonna be the nicest car in the shop? I know we weren't even. I was drunk when I found the damn thing, and I wasn't supposed to buy it. I was drunk. And now look. This time I'm gonna get drunk. Baby, no. Yeah. That's what happens when you get drunk. Oh. You like the back mask? You know what that means? Mm -mm. Maybe you should ask your dad. Three mask on the back side. See how there's no missing paint here, but mm -hmm. there is here. That's a back mask. That is not. Okay. But you cannot get paint apparently right there because like right here, what they say is you can't. They got to grind all that paint off and they put the window back in. Oh seriously? Because apparently it doesn't stick to paint. I don't know. I ain't no painter. <laughs> I mean, I kind of ain't now. A map. Just look at look at the seam the seamless paint job. If we sprayed it with the doors on, it would not be nearly as seamless. That's <gasps> how fired up I am. <clears throat> so we have to let the paint dry overnight. Bobby went ahead, stuck her finger in the roof, and got a got a fingerprint. Babe, joy. Who did it? Let's go match up the fingerprint. I don't want to. <laughs> I have a fingerprint in my roof. I could probably wet sand her out. This paint is wet in places where it shouldn't be. It's wet, it's wet where the sun don't shine. Devin. Yeah? What does that mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing dry overnight. Leave a comment down in the comment section below to let me know what you guys think of my first full respray. I'm stoked. I think it looks... Mint. Freaking tit, tits up. Tits out. Tits out. Sure. Bobby approves. Bobby does not like my runs that I got. I, I didn't say anything about them. I don't like them. Okay. So maybe tomorrow, I don't know if it's gonna be dry enough tomorrow, but I wanna go ahead and just take care of all that right off the bat. Orange peel wise though, bruh, I'm not even gonna do any orange peel correction, except one of the doors needed a little bit. Huh, Bobby? Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's so damn flat, I didn't even care. Like, is that stock? Did freaking Subaru paint this? We may never know. So I'm gonna pick this video back up. Never, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Hit the like button if you like my white paint job. Also, real quick though, no, before I go, two things that were the biggest help in the world with this paint job, obviously the booth, 900 bucks or 20 by 30, 20 times 30, 600 square foot paint booth, buy one, 900 bucks, that thing's amazing. And then this paint gun right here. I've never sprayed with nice paint guns before, so if you've never sprayed with a nice paint gun, I'd highly, highly suggest the Tecna Made by Devilbus Pro Light. This guy was 700 ish, and I know it sounds, it might sound like a lot, but $700 paint gun is gonna get you a $7,000 paint job. And if you're spraying with a shitty Harbor Freight like I have, you got a $50 paint job. Looks like you went to, what's that shitty place? So if you wanna pick up this gun, I'll link it down below if you wanna pick up that booth, which I'd highly recommend both. If you're ever gonna paint, I'll link it down below as well. Okay, baby, wrap it up. My arms are sore. Big shout to Bobby's family for helping me out. Big shout to Austin. Big shout to everybody on here. Without all y'alls, we would never have a nice car because I would have wrapped it myself. Huh? Wrap it up? Okay. Bobby's making me leave. <laughs> My arms are like falling asleep. I know you're happy, honey, but we need to go. Why? My arms hurt. Bobby, but look at my car. I've looked at it. This whole hour we've been here, baby. I'm very, very, very proud of you. Whole hour. 
All right, tomorrow we're gonna throw this bitch together. I'll see you guys then. Peace out, good night. I'm gonna go drink a beer and celebrate my white paint. Is that the thumbnail?